here's what I made for Memorial Day. Starting with orzo pasta salad, we have tomatoes, bell peppers, carrots, parsley, um, Italian dressing, lemon, and olive oil. So I'm gonna boil my pasta and the vegetables. A lot more. I want you to almost fill it up. Keep filling. Fill it up really well. Do that. Now I want you to squirt some of this lemon juice in it. Mm, yeah, see, like a spirit, a spirit, a spirit. Now, you guys, what I did, you can do this however you want, but this is just to make it quick and easy for me. Mm. Um, I went ahead and put my dressing, the mm. parsley, a little bit of the jalapenos, yeah. and the grape, the grape tomatoes in here. Uh, Once yeah. the orzo pasta has cooled down with the vegetables, I'm just going to pour this on top, refrigerator, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, mm. orzo pasta salad, yeah. it's done. Too. All right, so now I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce. Mm. Go ahead, baby. Mm. We're gonna do barbecue sauce, um, ketchup, <laughs> hot sauce. Sorry, yeah. hot sauce and some brown sugar. You have to excuse this child. Uh. A chicken child. All right, hot sauce is up next. Mm. Oh lord. Ooh, that's enough, baby. That's enough. Start staring. Staring, staring. Like staring. Mr. Robot. All right now we're gonna um, <laughs> now we're gonna get the butter ready for our corn. I like my butter a little. I mean my corn a little with a little kick. So I have some chili powder. Come on, sweetheart, put some chili powder in here. Oh, orzo pasta is done. Now I marinated some chicken drums and wings the night before. Just very very simple ingredients, and I'm ready to put them on the grill. I gotta record this. So up next, you guys, I'm gonna create a skillet peach cobbler using very, very simple ingredients. We have butter going into a small cast iron skillet. You may have to adjust your measurements depending on what you decide to use, okay? Now, this is very, very simple. When I mean simple, like literally, to me, and at least for me, this is the simplest thing you can make. So we're gonna be using canned sliced peaches and I got light just because um and then on top of that I made a uh basically the dough and <clears throat> you're supposed to use self-rising flour I don't have that so I just made it self-rising flour it's just baking powder and salt that's all it is so if you have regular salt add like half a teaspoon of salt I don't know like one teaspoon of baking powder don't quote me on those measurements you may need to work it out <laughs> and then you add milk to it and you get this pancake like consistency so now excuse the background i'm going to pour this this is actually maybe a little too thick but that's okay i'll pour this at the bottom here and now i'm going to slowly add these peaches in certain areas right yeah. there yeah looks good huh mm -hmm. right there that's yummy you ain't gonna even eat it child Pop it in the oven and see E60. So the veggies and pasta have cooled off, so I'm adding the tomato mixture. And I'm going to go ahead and add some seasonings. I'm going to add some garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, some Parmesan cheese. This is so good. Now I'm not going to add any more salt because the Italian seasoning has tons of sodium. The Parmesan cheese has sodium. This is what it looks like. I allowed it to refrigerate for a couple of hours. This is my finished chicken. So good. And this is that um, <laughs> failed uh, peach cobbler. And I went ahead and threw some corn on the actual grill, which was really, really good. Yeah, you guys, this came together in about two hours. So this cobbler did not turn out how I expected. And I think it's because I have a smaller pan here. Typically, uh, the peaches are supposed to fall to the bottom, the crust is supposed to rise to the top. However, I have had a piece of this and it is really good. Mm, mm -hmm. So y'all, I don't feel like I have enough sides. <laughs> So I'm going to cut up some yams and just make some skillet yams. Um, I really do like skillet yams and it's, it's a healthy alternative opposed to potatoes, okay? And this is the last thing that I'm cooking. And I know it's a lot of food, y'all, but uh, we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. And here I am fixing my plate. And that is it, you guys. Everything was so good. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.